All right, guys. It is an absolutely, and I mean over the top, spectacularly gorgeous. It is a Thursday. It is September 1st. 2022 we have arrived in September in upstate New York good lord are we in paradise it is 68 degrees at four o'clock in the afternoon on September 1st 68 degrees where I am imagine that uh, coming home from the Amish lumber mill with five more boards for the never-ending tiny house, but uh, the tiny house is wrapping up, and it is looking good. So, uh, I actually uh, have an interview tonight, that little eco pussy Sam Mitchell has a surprise interview that I'm very thrilled about. I am coming out of hibernation, and uh, I need to be researching my interview I told the uh, guys coming out with a one of our favorite doomers is releasing a new book today called an inconvenient apocalypse <laughs> ought to be a uh, a fine talk we're gonna have I just said I said dude I, I said uh, obviously I haven't read your book but uh, it's not exactly like I'm a clueless moron uh, on the subject of inconvenient apocalypses <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna fly by the seat of our pants so you can look forward to that not sure I'm gonna have it ready for publication tonight on Collapse Chronicles. Might happen, probably be tomorrow. So uh, I want to thank Brother Jeremy for saving my ass and uh, to help me have a Zoom conversation. We're going to have a Zoom conversation before the inconvenient apocalypse knocks zoom right off the air uh, but I just can't stop working on this tiny house on this absolutely gorgeous day I mean there's no fucking way how anybody could be sitting inside uh, on a day like this good God I mean this is a gift from the universe so, uh, I'm going to work for about two more hours, and then I think Brother Alistair is on his way up to uh, help finish out the siding on the tiny house. So, Alistair, if you're listening to this, uh, you can actually move the bed up to the tiny house. You can be the first to sleep in the tiny house. You just need to get the bed moved out of the garage up the hill. Oh, man. Unbelievable. So Labor Day weekend kicking in tomorrow. We're going to have a full crew at the Airbnb at, and Hip Camp at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So this woman calls from Hip Camp. Uh, Sounds about my age. She's here looking for a place to escape the madness for Labor Day and wanted to know if she could get away from all of the craziness at Bugs in a Jar Farm. She really was looking forward to camping by a creek. And I said, well, darling, you can, you can camp at Creekside Campsite. Unfortunately, we haven't had a creek at Creekside Campsite for over a month that you're going to be camping by a dried up rock bed. But other than that, and she was funny, I wish to hell I had recorded that. I mean, I've known the woman for 30 seconds and she goes off onto this complete fucking doomer chick rant. I mean, she sounded like a female hambone. Uh, 
she just fucking went off on uh, the state of the damn planet. Not so much from an ecological uh, perspective, but just from a societal breakdown and how uh, this entire fucking country, uh, this goddamn planet ha has gone completely off kilter. And uh, she is uh, just like, she's just completely up against the fucking wall. Uh, she says she needs somewhere where she can pitch a hammock and, uh, and, and lie in a hammock and, and look at some trees. And she was hoping she could be listening to a rushing mountain stream. And uh, I told her, well, uh, we will do the best we can for you to get you to hide away from uh, <laughs> from the end of the world at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, but if you're looking for a babbling brook, you're going to have to look elsewhere. I am sorry, cannot give you a rushing mountain stream. Of course, this time last year. That damn creek was a roaring torrent last year. But, uh, other than that small problem, it is a spectacularly gorgeous weekend in store, and uh, we're going to have a full house, bugs in a jar, getting ready for the party beginning in uh, 13 days. So. I ordered the porta potty. Uh, Karen Peterson convinced me just to bite the bullet and spend the hundred and thirty dollars on a porta potty because we do not need any septic issues. So uh, there will be a porta potty in place for the Doomer. The Doomer sit down. Do have a porta potty for the end times. Oh man, but right now I gotta get these five big ass boards up to the top of this hill, and I guess when Alistair gets here, we can get the other 500 of these big ass boards up to the top of the hill. I highly suggest you get out there and get all your big ass boards up to the top of the hill while you still can. Uh, this is Sisyphus. Back to work. Come see us. Bye guys.